Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't think the day would come, but Zombies is officially coming to Warzone and they're coming to Warzone tomorrow with the Haunting of Verdansk event. In this video, we're going to be showing you guys the very first glimpse and look at Zombies in Warzone as well as explain everything that's happening with this Halloween event as this genuinely looks to be one of the greatest additions we've ever seen in modern warfare. Now, when we jump into this, if you like the sound of this, let me know in the comments and like the video. And subscribe because I'll be bringing you a ton of videos on this, especially with zombies. So let's get that out the way first. So on your screen now is the roadmap for this event, The Haunting of Verdansk, which has an insane amount of new Warzone modes and updates, including that coveted Zombies Royale game mode, as well as some incredible Halloween themed bundles. So let's take a look at that trailer to see our first look at Zombies in Warzone. And I'll be back afterwards to explain everything you need to know. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the trailer. Here we go. It was supposed to be a standard op. Oh my gosh, it really is nighttime. It was anything but. Oh my god, this looks really, really cool. I Even still just... say nothing on earth can scare me. Honestly, would not think this was modern warfare if you showed me. Where's the zombies at? Oh my this, god. This was straight from hell. What is that? Oh my god, that's frightening. Go, go, go. Aesthetically, this looks so sick, man. This completely changes the way the game looks. There they are, let's go! Zombies! Oh my gosh. Hello. Do you want to play a game? No way. Let's go, let's go. Oh my god, are you for real? He's really driving that thing. Oh my god. Wait, what? Those zombies could jump that high? The bastards took my brothers. Oh my god. That's why I'm going back. Wait, who's that? Who was that talking? Oh my god, and the song as well, Black Hole Sun by Soundgarden. This 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 looks amazing. Genuinely could be one of the coolest things that's ever been added into Modern Warfare. Now that, my friends, is what you call a trailer. That honestly might be in the top five best Call of Duty trailers that I've ever seen. So, so good. So let's talk about Zombie Royale. So when the clock strikes midnight in Verdansk, it's time to bring out the undead. This is going to be a new limited time mode called Zombie Royale, where operators can fight against and alongside powerful zombies as part of Zombie Royale, a limited time mode where death is far from permanent. Instead of being sent to the gulag, dead operators will come back to life as a zombie. Although zombies cannot use weapons, they have supernatural abilities such as increased speed, improved jumps, which we saw in the trailer, they were literally like exo-zombie jumps, deadlier melee attacks, and thermal vision. And if you're feeling zombified, you can fight your way back into the land of the living. When a player is killed, they drop a syringe that shows up on the map. Collect two of those syringes as a zombie, and you'll parachute back in with your loadout on your squad for a second chance. The last squad standing with a surviving operator wins, even if the rest of the squad have turned undead. And because this takes place at night, expect to find all the haunts that Verdansk has to offer under the bright moonlight, including the Trick or Treat reward system where special supply boxes either contain frights or frighteningly good blueprints and personalization items. Now, from what I understand about this Zombies Royale mode, there is some rumors that suggest that this is actually a lot bigger than it seems on paper because it seems like a reskinned infected. But I think that there is going to be a lot more depth 
to this than simply just an infected mode. We know with every seasonal update and big map change that they love to throw in a new Easter egg tied towards everything. And it would be an absolute shame if they didn't take advantage of zombies inside of Warzone and use that for some sort of massive Easter egg. And this is also a great indication to look at what zombies could potentially be like in Black Ops Cold War Warzone. I mean, heck, it's taken a year for us to finally get some form of zombies within Modern Warfare, and it's within a massive open world 150 player Warzone game. It definitely gives a lot of potential for Treyarch to go absolutely bananas with zombies in a battle royale like they did with Blackout, but on a much bigger scale. And more likely than not, zombies in Warzone is going to have its own storyline and backstory. And we have a cheeky look at a new operator in this trailer that sounds like there's a lot more to him than meets the eye. And this is Dr. Karlov, an infamous Verdansk urban legend that defines the regional Halloween folklore. Driven to a point of no return after countless failures in his lab deep inside the gulag, he became obsessed with electricity and energy charged weaponry, testing it often in experiments on those who dared to wander near his hideout. It's near the end of the trailer that we get to see this Dr. Karlov and one of the operators comes off head to head with him. But as soon as I read that he tested often with experiments on those who dared to wander near his hideout, that he could potentially have some sort of involvement with why zombies is in Warzone. It's literally just an assumption, but there's no way that these zombies could have appeared out of thin air. I'd like to think that they have some sort of storyline going on here as to explain it, and Dr. Karlov could be the man in the middle of it all. And no matter what mode of Warzone you'll be playing, visiting Verdansk at night will leave you open to a few frights. Some say that a ventriloquist doll frequently appears on television sets tuned to defunct channels and the poltergeist of a chainsaw wielding killer can be seen and heard across the Krovnik farmland. Others claim that the defunct tracks near the train station are still in use by a ghost train, a vessel filled with souls of those who lost their lives fighting in the Gulag. And then during that trailer as well, we saw that the actual Warzone Stadium got overtaken by Billy the Puppet from Saw, which is just incredible. Like, I can't believe this crossover is happening. And with the cosmetic bundles of Billy the Puppet from Saw, as well as a Texas Chainsaw Massacre bundle, which features the iconic crazed killer Leatherface. This is truly next level cosmetics that I never expected to see in a Call of Duty game, but I absolutely love it. And I'll definitely be picking these both up when they drop in the store. And as a reminder, guys, I have a support creator code now. So if you do pick up these bundles, please use code Dalek in the store because, hey, if you're getting them anyway, you might as well throw in a support creator code and it really does help me out. I still can't quite believe that I even have a code, but hey ho, 2020 is wild. But being absolutely honest, considering that this game game is in its final month of life before we jump into Black Ops Cold War. This is a incredibly impressive update for them to do this late into the game's life cycle. My only hope is that the Zombie Royale game mode is lasting longer than just a limited time mode. We've waited so, so long for zombies to finally be in Warzone that for it to only be a limited time mode to me is a real big shame. This has to stay for a lot longer because this in itself is amazing. This is the first time that Zombies has ever been in a modern warfare game. This is easily one of the coolest things that Call of Duty has ever, ever done and gives me so much hope that going forward, we're going to be getting more crazy, wacky stuff like this in Cold War, maybe even continuing it on in Warzone because this is absolutely nuts. Let me know what you think of this all down below in the comment section. I'll be streaming this, making video on this tomorrow, so be sure to subscribe to the channel with the notifications on so you don't miss out. It's going to be one heck of a spooky fun live stream. I cannot wait to see you all there and I can't wait to jump into this. Let me know your thoughts. I'll catch you very soon.